Warner goes to the year's best videotapes tonight. To the Minute Weekend Report, Channel 2 News with Randall Pinkston for Vic Miles, Fred Wymore with sports, and Mr. G with the weather. Good evening. It was a courageous battle, but tonight the Giants have no choice but to wait till next year. Just moments ago, their Super Bowl dreams collapsed as they went down to defeat at the hands of the San Francisco 49ers at Candlestick Park. Fred Weimar here now with the details. Fred? Randall, let's take a look once again at the highlights. The New York Giants' playoff hopes were crushed at Candlestick Park, where the San Francisco 49ers entered their season with a 21-10 win. You take away the first few minutes of the game, and you've got a different outcome. The 49ers came out with some razzle-dazzle. This is the very first play of the game. Joe Montana to Dwight Clark, who pitches it back to Freddie Solomon. Montana to Clark would complete that first possession, the 21-yard score, making it 7-0 in favor of the Niners. Now the Giants' first possession. Phil Simms' pass is tipped and intercepted by Ronnie Lott, who returns the ball 38 yards. That down to the Giants' 12-yard line, where the 49ers take over on offense. Two plays after that from the nine, Montana across the middle to Russ Francis, 14 to nothing in favor of San Francisco. As the first quarter came to an end, the Giants finally got a break. Montana's pass bounces off Terry Kennard. Gary Reasons intercepts. Giants got a field goal and trailed 14 to three early in the second. Late second quarter, Montana throwing from his own end zone. Harry Carson picks it off, goes 14 yards for his first career touchdown, 14 to 10. The Giants were on their way back. That is, until the Niners got their hands on the ball again. Montana to Freddie Solomon, who beats Perry Williams with a nice run. Williams tripping on the play, the 29-yard score, 21 to 10 Niners at the half. Same score, fourth quarter. Niners weren't going anywhere, but neither were the Giants. Sim goes down for the fifth time. The Giants couldn't get anything right in the second half. Even Ali Haji Sheik missed a 33-yard field goal attempt. And while the Giants' defense didn't allow a point in the second half, the offense didn't score either. The final again, 21 to 10. The 49ers will fa now face the winner of tomorrow's Washington-Chicago game for the NFC Championship. And that was a pretty good game, except for the second half. Thanks a lot. Well, we were expecting a white Christmas. It didn't get here. We had snow a day late. But with the record-breaking temperatures passing 70 degrees today, Thursday's snowstorm was more than just a melted memory. It was almost nothing. It doesn't seem like Christmas, but it's nice. Oh! All around the city today, New Yorkers shed their woolies and snow boots for roller skates, T-shirts, and jogging shorts. The only reminder that this was a winter day, not summer, was behind store windows. We're not wearing gloves and we're not I wearing hats. Hat. It's unbelievable. Spring. I love it. When I opened the window this morning, um, it felt pretty strange. Warm air coming in. I think it's great. I'd take 12 months of it. The city should always be warm. Let it snow in Vermont, not here. But not everybody was pleased with the unexpected summer fleeing in December. These girls came from North Carolina just to have a white Christmas. I love cold weather. I love snow, and all we got was the rain, so <laughs> I wish it was colder. Well, it may be colder soon, and we'll find out more about that when we come back with uh, Irv and our weather forecast. Stay with us. Long Island, where do you shop to save money? Tri-County Flea Market. Tri-County. Tri-County Flea Market. Tri-County Flea Market. Tri-County. Tri-County. Tri-County Flea Market. Tri-County. Tri-County. Tri-County Flea Market. Tri-County. Tri-County Flea Market. Shop and save at Tri-County Flea Markets in Levittown on Hempstead Turnpike, Smithtown just east of the Bull on Jericho, and Farmingville north of the LIE at exit 63. It's here, our annual GE inventory clearance sale, with gigantic savings on selected General Electric major appliances. This once-a-year event is your big chance for super savings on selected refrigerators, microwave ovens, dishwashers, ranges, washers and dryers. Buy now under the GCAP plan and make no monthly payments. Pay no finance charges for 90 days. For the location of your nearest GE dealer, call the GE Answer Center best news ever celebration at your Renault Jeep dealer. Celebrating the best sales year ever for Renault and Jeep combined with price rollbacks on award-winning Renault Alliance sedan and sporty Renault Encore. See America's lowest price convertible and take advantage of factory to dealer incentives on Jeep Cherokee and luxurious Jeep Wagoneer. 
we will do whatever it takes to sell 20,000 vehicles by January 7th. Your New York, New Jersey, Connecticut AMC Jeep Renault dealers, the right guys. With a short reservation, you've got our That's the American Express card. That's right. When you travel, always ask for an American Express card assured reservation. Your hotel room will be there. Am I too late? No. I waited up. You've got our word. Ask for an American Express card assured reservation at Quality International Hotels. A three-year-old boy is back home safely with his mother tonight after being held hostage for four terrifying hours by his mother's former boss. Police say Paul Nelson had been visiting Maxine Smallwood when he suddenly grabbed her son, Nalik, and held a kitchen knife to his throat. Scores of police and EMS workers surrounded the building and finally convinced Nelson to let the baby go. Moments after Nalik was in his relieved father's arms, apparently uninjured, the crowd's cheers turned to boos as Nelson was taken into police custody. Police say he was high on cocaine during the incident. He's being charged with reckless endangerment and unlawful imprisonment. Well, and look now at our weird weather, Irv. How weird was it? In Baltimore, it was 79 degrees, all right? In Miami, it was 78. Warmer in Baltimore than it was in Miami Beach today. Today, we had a high temperature of 70 degrees. Willie Schnell was at the beach. The whole crew was at the beach because today's normal high, or the temperature high of 70, was normal. You ready for this? For May the 16th, 67. Humidity high, the wind southwesterly 12. Barometer 29.88. Right now, we have partly cloudy skies. And look at these numbers around the tri-state area. There's Mark Lieb, 65. Willie Schnell at the beach had the blanket down 65 degrees, the water temperature 49 degrees, and there's Dave Robinson Dumont with a temperature reading of 65 degrees, and very, very mild air is poised and ready to move into the tri-state area. Matter of fact, by tomorrow we'll cool down into the 50s, but the story is on Monday, cool air will arrive as temperatures get into the 40s. Here's my forecast for tonight. If you're heading out tonight, increasing cloudiness and mild 41 to 46 for tomorrow. Record is 60, everybody. Got a shot. Showers likely 50s. And for tomorrow and the next five days, we cool down. And as you look at the early part of next week, you'll see by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, temps will return to seasonable levels in the 30s. Once again, the record for tomorrow is 60. We got a shot at it. We'll see you. Thanks for joining us for the early edition of Channel 2's Weekend Report. I'm Randall Pinkston for Vic Miles. We'll all be back tonight at 11. Spot News Call, the Channel 2 News Hotline, toll-free number 1-800-CH2-NEWS. Channel 2 News Weekend Report, Forces Recorded.